Yo, what is going on, you slackers? I am your host, Slackers Gaming, bringing you another Rocket League Market Watch Monday. All right, let's get into today. So today, we're going to be focusing all on the Nintendo Switch version of this because um, there, there, are, there are quite a bit of people that do have the uh, the game Rocket League for the Switch, and um, and as we all know, coming up now, going to be on Tuesday, so we're just under three weeks <laughs> that this game has been out yeah it's only been out three weeks for the switch so can you imagine just starting from scratch but basically you know back to over two years ago nothing was out there there were no crates there was no items there was nothing like everybody had to play earn your stuff like your uh, uncommon toppers get your rare decals get your crates buy your keys open up those crates hopefully pull something good get stuff out in the community get it out and flowing you know but, um, no, that's what uh, I'm here to do for this one. So it could be kind of confusing for what you can get um, in terms of, like, keys. And uh, so I'm going to try to go over, like, the main stuff. So this one might kind of be, I don't know if this will be shorter. I'm just going to try to, like, lump everything in together. Uh, like, as you can see right here on the screen, I have, like, the black market decals and the gold explosions. Um, this is a great uh, representation right here of what you can uh, expect to get for them um, if, you, if you're paying keys or if you're trying to sell. This is a good good one right here. Um, so let me zoom. I'm going to zoom in here a little bit better so you guys can see this. So um, scroll over a little bit. There we go. So um, again, trades on this website work from whatever's on the left. Match it up what you want on the right. So first thing on the left. Actually, we'll go the first three things on the left. All 32 keys, right? First three things on the right. 20XX, Bubbly, and Heat Wave. Now we all know 20XX, Bubbly, and Heat Wave are the three most expensive and sought after black market decals. Now, you'll say, well, why are they the same price? Well, again, I'm going to reiterate that um, there's not a lot out there. There's, it's, um, there's, there's not a lot in circulation, so they kind of get matched up um, all together because they're all very sought after, so... Uh, yeah, they, these are good prices. Basically, you could think of it like this. It's, this is a good way I've kind of figured it. The really good stuff, such as the XX, the Bubbly, the Heat Wave, basically, whatever the price is on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation, basically add 10 to 11 keys for, like, the really good stuff. Um, for the most part. For the most part. Um, but uh, it, since the, the those are the top three things, you know, they're, they're going to be more expensive. Like I said, there's less of them out there. So 32 actually is pretty good. That's what I've been seeing a few of them go for. The ones that I know have actually been traded or sold for. So 32 is actually pretty good for all of them. You could probably get Bubbly and Heat Wave. Probably for 30 to be honest. But uh, no, that's right around the that's right around where their price should be. So yeah, they got, <laughs> they're coming in. Uh, you might think they're high, but... Um, as of right now, no, this is pretty average, and more that come out, of course, the price is going to drop. So don't expect to, like, hold on to a 20XX. If you have the Switch version of Rocket League, you can be like, I'm going to hold on to this. This thing's going to bump up to 50. No, it's not going to go up to 50. This thing, along with everything in here, is going to slowly sink back down to their original prices that they are on the other platforms. So if you have them... Get, get rid of if you don't if you have them and you don't want them get rid of them at these prices it, these are very good prices so yeah um let's move on here so we got kind of the middle of the pack coming up hexed slipstream and parallax all uh pretty much middle of the uh, road well i guess you could say middle of the road for uh <laughs> black market decals um they're all 17 um again pretty fair like pretty much add about uh 10 keys to what their value is on other um Platforms and there you got the you got got it right there their values um, Up next we got Spectre Labyrinth Biomass and Tora Rounding out the black markets and they come in at respectively nine seven seven and six again This is a great trade right here. This matches up like offer wise just like perfectly. So Yeah, if you have these and you want to get rid of them Here's the prices that you should be asking for don't over ask I mean, you can. Maybe somebody doesn't know their prices, but that's what these market watches are for. Pay attention. Because I don't want anyone to ever overpay. Unless you really want to overpay. But I don't know why you would. But unless you want to um, 
you you want to get a good deal. Here's what you should be able to get for them, and you will get for them, I promise. Um, and people are going to jump on them because, hey, they're black market decals. It's a Switch. This game's been out for less than three weeks on the Switch. So, yeah, here you go. Again, Spectre coming in about nine. Labyrinth and Biomass. Labyrinth seven. Yeah, Biomass is about seven as well. And Tor is about six. And then we'll move over to the Goal Explosions. Um, the ones that he has on here, because obviously you can't put more than uh, ten offers. But we got Heat Wave. Heat Wave. Hellfire, excuse me, for about twenty. Fifteen for the Electroshock. Fireworks coming in about ten. Um, I see, I've seen eight, so 10 might be a little high, but hey, he's, he's offering to pay 10 for these. So, hey, he, if you want them, you'll pay whatever you want to pay for them, right? And then Sub-Zero at about 15, so again, black market decals and gold explosions. They're roughly, we'll say nine, nine to 11 keys, um, more than what they are on other platforms. Let's just, let's just put it at that, okay? I think that's a good way to put it. So, um, black market decals, gold explosions, there you have some prices. And um, let's see what we got up next. And that does lead to what is up next, obviously, which is going to be crate values. Now, again, these are not going to be what they are on other platforms. I will stress that a lot, uh, stress that a lot during this video because, again, this is the Nintendo Switch version of the Market Watch for this week, kind of letting people know what prices are. So, right here. Perfect. This is what you can get uh, key-wise. Overdrive, Turbo, Nitro, Accelerator Crates. Uh, if you have three of these, you're guaranteed you, you, can, pick the, you can pick up a key. No problem. Uh, Player's Choice Crate, you can only get two. That's, that's, the, uh, that's the trend going around right now. I mean, look. Has three of each, and he only want, uh, this guy's offering one for each, but that is what it is. One key will get you either three overdrive, three tur turbo, three nitro, three accelerator, or one key will get you two players' choice crates. Um, now, I do have a uh, Nintendo Switch. Um, I did a, what did, what did I do? Accelerator crate unboxing that will be coming out, I believe, tomorrow? Yes, Tuesday. Um, but I only was able to pick up, I think, 13. Like, crates are still hard to come by. Don't get me wrong. You can still get them from, like, playing normally online and getting crates that way and stuff. But being able to try to trade for them, it's a little tough because everybody gets them and they want to open them up right away. They want to be that first person with that brand new Heat Wave decal, those white Dracos, the whatever it might be. People want to be the first one to have that, you know. And, hey, I would be in that boat, too. But I've been slowly, I was slowly building up my, my crates. I'm trying to get more. I got a few pending offers. I'm trying to get more nitro crates. Um, so I, fingers crossed for that one. But no, you have crates. If you have three of any of the, any of the overdrive, turbo, nitro, or accelerator, and you want to sell them, you're guaranteed to pick yourself up one key. And if you got two players choice you, you don't want, send those away and you'll get a key back in return. Guaranteed. Um, so, yep, that, I mean, I had to get crates on here. Crates are a big thing. Um, without crates, there's pretty much little to nothing for, uh, stuff that you can trade for, you know, decals, wheels, toppers, antennas, you know, all that stuff. You don't have any of that stuff. So, without crates, your car doesn't look as good. So, yep, here's the key values for crates right here. Perfect. One for three or one for two. Right there. Bam. Now, up next, what I'm going to be talking about, I'm going to kind of group a couple things together because they have pretty much the same key value, which is going to be very rare items and actually rare decals slash um, uh, paint jobs. So, um, I got calculated sitting right there. You can see uh, you can get one, <laughs> one very rare will get you guaranteed one key. Um, I have not had any luck coming across these myself, but... There, there, there's a few out there. I mean, I've been trying to look for like some Toon Smokes and Frostbites, you know, some of those very rare stuff, uh, Taco, you know, just whatever it might be. Uh, the, they're hard to find. There's not a lot out there. So I've been trying to like, um, when I do trades, I'm trying to get those little add-ins, you know, either the uncommons or the rares and then I try to do trade-ups because I'm trying to get some of this stuff because it, it doesn't exist. Well, it does, but it's just slim pickings. There's really nothing. So, um, you well, I could say you could probably get uh, one very rare for probably about two keys, to be honest. And then any like the decals that you pull, um, whether 
if they're painted, that's another story. But if they're just rare, um, kind of like these ones here, you got you got the Buzzkill, you got Jiangxi, you got Lone Wolf, you got the Griffin. They're pretty guaranteed. You can well, close to guaranteed. You can easily sell those for about one key, or you can get uh, pretty uh, a decent amount of items back in return. Because um, people are wanting to, you know, they want to pip their car out. They want to make it look good right now. So, very rare stuff. You could probably trade, depending on what it is. Uh, player banners themselves, I'm not going to say you're going to get two keys. Maybe just one. But if you have any of those Toon Smokes or, um, you know, Frostbites, any of the stuff like that, the very rare stuff that you don't get from crates, you know, that you could win from um, games or by doing trade-ups from rares and uncommons, that you get from games. If you can get any uh, rare, very rares from that, um, you can probably easily get two keys. You know, maybe depending on what it is, uh, maybe three, but very rare is pretty much about two keys. And any uh, any of the, um, the decals are about one key. If they're painted, you might be able to get a couple keys. Depends on the color again. But, um, you know, everyone's trying to deal everything that they get, you know. They want to put stuff out there in the market. They want to get keys back. They want to get other items. You know, everyone's trying to help each other out right now, and that's great. That is great. Um, I haven't come across too many people that are pretty, uh, that are trying to take advantage of people, I'll say. You know, and they're like, well, I have, um, I did come across one person that had a Spectre, uh, the decal, and I really wanted it, but, um... He was, he was pretty fair, to be honest. He wanted only, uh, what was it, I think seven keys for Spectre, and that's actually pretty good. At the time, um, the keys I had in my inventory, I was using for my uh, my uh, crate un unboxing, so I couldn't really trade them, and that kind of sucks. I suppose I could have bought more keys if I wanted to, but it's beside the point. Um, but no, like I'm saying, everyone's trying to help each other out with this stuff. Everyone's trying to get stuff that they want, make their cars look good, and that's all we really want. So yeah, uh, very rare stuff, you know, maybe banners, very rare banners, maybe a key, but very rare items, um, you could probably get uh, probably two keys. So yep, there you go for very rare stuff, and uh, I guess kind of rare decals, I'd, I'd say, throw that in there as well, for about one key. And since we just got done talking about very rares, you know we gotta bring up the stuff that's below that that you work your way to trade up to, which um, we're gonna go with the uncommon stuff. Now again, if it's painted, you can ask for more because you can get more. But if it's regular, just flat, um, straight up uncommon, like li a little bunny, little elephant, something like that, you can actually get two keys. Um, decals are worth a little less. Maybe one for one, I would say, depending on the decal or the paint job. Oh, excuse me, damn. But, um, yeah, you can see like this one's a good one. You got the uh, you got the foam hat right here, forest green one for five keys, and yeah, they actually go for five keys. Regular uncommon toppers you can actually get for two a piece. Um, again, if they're painted, ask for three or four, you can get them. And then uh, they got the furry. They have a black fruit hat, which I'm only asking for one. That's not bad. Maybe I should uh, message this person. Anything? Well. Do I want to get rid of my key? Maybe. I don't know. I'll think about it. Anyway, um, if, you, if you got painted any uncommon uh, topper, antenna, anything like that, you can ask for two keys and you'll probably get it. Um, there's people out there with keys and they want to fill up their inventory. And, you know, uncommon stuff, rare stuff, that's a good way to help um, get that going because then they're going to do trade-ups or they're going to bundle all that stuff and pick up something bigger down the line. You, you never know. So if you have any uncommon stuff, you know, and you're looking for keys, painted stuff, you could probably get between three to five depending on the color. Four screen is more popular, so I can understand why he's asking for five there. But just regular uncommons, you can definitely get two keys. Um, it just, it works. I've already been able to pick up I had a, uh, uh, I had a certified, uh, what, I had a l l certified little owl, I want to say it was a juggler, I was able to trade that for four keys, I was able to then pick up, what, I have another certified little owl that I picked up for three keys, that is still sitting in my inventory, I'm still, I'm actually using it currently, but, um, certified and painted, you can get for slightly more, people pay for it, I paid for it, I've seen other people, trade for it so here's here's the prices you got painted stuff three four five keys depending on the paint 
Uh, you get just got the regular ones for uncommon. That is two keys. If you really want to be generous and you just do one, go for one. Why not help somebody out? We're all in this together, right? We're all trying to build our own inventories together. So there you go. Here, here's prices for uncommon stuff. And I believe the last thing I'm going to go over is going to be cars. You know, the imports. What are they worth? What can you get for them? Are they hard to get? Um, since everybody's trying to open up crates as soon as they get a crate, um, they're, they're, these are definitely out there. People have these. I actually, um, I don't want to spoil anything, but I was able to get um, a decent number of uh, import cars from the crate uh, opening that I do that's coming out tomorrow. But people have these. They're out there. And um, you would think maybe, maybe one key. No. Wrong. Right here. Perfect example. Three keys. You can trade away this. <laughs> you can trade away your import car, just regular non-painted, for three keys. Now, that I mean, it's crazy thinking from, uh, you know, other platforms where you can probably get two imports for one key. And that's, well, it's it, like I said, it's different. This game's only been out for just slightly under three weeks for the Switch. You know, there's not a lot of these out in the open or out in the wild. People are trying to hold on to them. Um... But no, hey, if you if you have any extra import cars that you don't want to use, put them up online, trade them to somebody. Value is three keys. I promise you can get that, no problem. People will pay. They want to have their specific car. Now, I know I'm only showing the Jaeger 619 RS, but it goes the same with the Animus GP. Um, Octane is slightly higher, I'd say. Maybe you could get four. But again, these are all going for prices that are unpainted. Because painted, um, there's not really a market. Well, there's a market. Uh, that's not what I meant. There's not really a set price. People are asking for really crazy stuff. I seen somebody that had a uh, burnt sienna um, animus, and they were asking for a uh, party. Uh, yeah, party time. The goal explosion. Like, uh, I don't think so. It doesn't quite work like that. You still got to be reasonable with your prices don't just be like yo i got a painted car i can get whatever i want no no have common sense come on people have some common sense but no hey if you got a regular import car you don't want throw it up for trade right here boom three keys you can get that for like every every car body no problem i promise and this one's going to be kind of weird because the last thing i'm going to go over is keys um, I'm just going to show you what people are putting up and I'm going to tell you if they're reasonable or not. Um, so where do you got the PCC crate, which I did talk about, which you have one key and you want two PCCs. That's what you're going to get. Don't ask for any more because nobody's going to give you that, uh, that nobody's going to give you any more basically. Um, if you only want one, I don't know why you'd only want one, but ask for two. You can get two. That's the trade rate right now. I promise. Um, this guy, um, going back to the heat wave, we went over that at the beginning, um, heat wave was 32, so this guy is at, um, he's offering slightly more. Um, then again, everybody wants to keep heat wave because heat wave, in my opinion, at least looks the best for all, uh, out of all the black market decals. I absolutely love it, even though I've never personally owned one myself. It's like every time I seem to get a random trade invite, somebody's wearing heat wave, and I'm like, oh, I just want that so bad. Um, but no, heat wave, so 35, slightly more, but hey, some people will be willing to overpay for the stuff because that's what they want, and they gotta have it now, and I don't blame them. I would be in the same boat, but I don't have a ton of keys right now. I'm just trying to build up an inventory of, you know, rare, rare very rares, I guess some un uncommons and uh, imports, hopefully working my way up that way, but we'll see what happens going on. I'm um, going over the keys. Here's the crate offer again, plain and simple. There's the black market and goal explosion. Um, let's see. That's not helping. This one, this guy's actually only asking for two accelerator, and he does say it's an overpay, which it is, because you can easily get three, but maybe he only need only, only wants the two for right now, and if that's all he wants and he's offering a key, go for it. I don't have any accelerator crates, otherwise I would probably jump on that myself, but no big deal. Um, let's see, kind of scrolling on here. Any other key offers? This guy's offering stuff. Ooh, it looks like he's offering two keys. Maybe he's offering all that stuff for the Mantis. Some people don't put anything in their description, and it's kind of annoying. Because then you message them, and they're like, no, I was just saying one of those things. Uh, well, got to be more clear. But I think you could probably, he might be offering all that stuff. Who knows? Maybe he just really wants a Mantis. I don't blame him. Um, going on here, 
this guy two keys, a magic missile, and a vector for Takumi um, decal, offering for an endo, which is that's a pretty good deal. Like I said, any import uh, import car bodies or three keys, non painted. This guy's offering two with a magic missile. Pretty good deal in my opinion. Um, this guy has keys. Uh, offers again, not helping. Just has six keys. This guy, yeah. Good luck on that. Two keys for Mantis. Mm, maybe if somebody's feeling generous and only one key for an Octane, that's not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, buddy. But uh, yeah, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, there's another player's choice for one. This guy's offering. What five keys for party time or an offer? You ain't getting party time, I promise you that. But nope, that's pretty much it. There's the values for the stuff. I tried to go over a lot of like the main group stuff, try to group it all together, give you a better idea. But uh, that is going to be it for this Market Watch Monday Nintendo Switch edition. Hopefully, you guys learned a little something about prices. And uh, yeah, hopefully, you guys can uh, make some uh, better trades off of this information if you. If you uh, seem fit, hopefully this did help you out, because that's what I intend to do with this stuff. So anyway, that is going to be it for this week, uh, this week's Market Watch, and uh, we will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.